Hi, welcome to Creative V5 video tutorial. I want to show you how to do the drawing for this connecting rod. So let's switch over to our drawing and in this video I will show you how to do this drawing and how to do, for example, that broken view and align it here with the second projected view. So Let's have fun with Kitty 5 Okay, so I will switch to my drafting workbench and I want it to be A3, yes, let's check it out. It's landscape, yes, ISO, yes, and OK, and OK. I will go to the sheet background and insert The frame and title block. Let's create one and OK. Go back to the working views and I want to insert an advanced front view and it should be one to two. This will not fit, but I want to shorten the view anyway. So go over here, select one plane. You see it will not fit, but I want to break it anyway. So let's just put it there, move it a little bit up, maybe like this, yeah. And I don't need that label, so delete it. And I want to break the view. I want to go for a broken view. So go for a broken view. Select the first point inside. So I will go for 160 here. Go there, click, and then move over here. And let's go for, let's see, that's. 620, 160, 620, yes. Click outside and it will be broken. Now I need a projected view from this one over here. And in order to get the same values, of course, you have to activate the grid snap. So and I did this beforehand, so I could snap onto the 160 and 620. Now let's activate this one and go for another broken view. Go here, go to 160, click, click here and move it to 620. So go here, 630, 620. And that should result in the same size. In Linux, I just had to project it, it was already broken. Okay. Let's activate this one, and I want to see the hidden lines. So go for properties and activate the hidden lines and confirm. Great. Okay, let's do the dimensioning. Do I have all the center lines which I need? Yes, they were generated automatically. That's great. So let's go for dimensions. Let's start from this circle to that circle, that's the 750, and if you wonder where these symbols come from, you have to activate in the options the manipulators. So, see tools, options, Go to 
mechanical design, drafting, and there's a register with manipulators and I've activated them just for the modification, not for the creation. They're quite useful. So let's add now from the center here to that edge. That's the 135, yes. Then the 55 from here to this one. And of course I should double click it from here. And that's the 55, yes. Then we need from this one to the center. And now you could change the anchor point by going here and moving it over there. Just press the control key and then you could move those symbols, those the yellow ones. So move it here. Then I need the this one. And from this hidden line to that hidden line, like that. Then this should be a radius of 35. That would be a radius of 55. There should be a radius of 10, which is recognized, and this should be a radius of 40. Yes, same here, 40 and 65. Great. Then this one, and of course, the 95 from this line to that line. Then from the center here to that sort of edge. Okay. From this circle, hopefully, to that circle. And again, you could move this up there. And this should be 105. Great. Just use the control key for moving those yellow squares. And then we need, sorry, from this one to that one. That's 60. What else is missing? This radius. And this will not work. So in order to get here, you have to overwrite that wrong value. So just double click it. Or let's say go to right click properties. And somewhere there is a fake dimension switch. It's on the value here and numerical. And you could write just 25 and no dual value. So that should be nothing. Let's see if this works. Yeah. And OK. Same maybe here for this one. Let's see. No, this one works. That's the 165, which I could move up here maybe. And I need this radius. Double click, select it, and go for another. I think I've got all of these. Yeah. Let's activate this one. 
and maybe move it a little bit down like this and go for the next dimensions. So this would be again a 55 radius. There should be a 55 radius. That small one should be a diameter. So let's go for diameter like that. Same over here. Diameter. Let's go for another diameter here and there. I need that distance. That's 60. This distance. That's 30. Same over here. Sixty and thirty, and maybe just maybe move this up there. Then we need, of course, that's the same distance, but you could, of course. just for convenience another dimension here and maybe now I will move it up because I need more space here like this now we need the radius of this one let's go for radius here as well and now I've got this one, this one, this one. I will need a dimension from this center to that's the center of this one. Yep. Then from this center to that center. That's the nine, yep. And then I need a distance from here to that center, and that would be that 20. Let's move this up here. And maybe move this one over here. Same on the other side. I need from this center to that center, that's the 56. Then from this center to that center, that's the 9. And then from the center to that line, and that would be the 20. And now I should have all the dimensions hopefully and guess what i forgot some so let's check it out i need one from this one to that one and that would be 45 and that 45 should be a diameter okay then i need just to make it really obvious that 110 over here and another 110 over there and I now I really should have all the necessary dimensions so hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a like leave a comment please subscribe to my YouTube channel and please subscribe to my Facebook cafe page. It would be very nice of you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.